This article lists and discusses the usage in derivation of names of large numbers, together with their possible extensions. The following table lists those names of large numbers which are found in many English dictionaries and thus have a special claim to being real words. The traditional British values shown are unused in American English and are becoming rare in British English, but their other language variants are dominant in many non-English speaking areas, including continental Europe and Spanish-speaking countries in Latin America, see long and short scales. English also has many words, such as zillion, used informally to mean large but unspecified amounts, see indefinite and fictitious numbers, standard dictionary numbers. Apart from million, the words in this list ending with ilion are all derived by adding prefixes to the stem ilion. Centillion appears to be the highest name ending in ilion that is included in these dictionaries. Trigentillion, often cited as a word in discussions of names of large numbers, is not included in any of them, nor any of the names that can easily be created by extending the naming pattern. All of the dictionaries included Google and Googleplex, generally crediting it to the Kastner and Newman book and to Kastner's nephew. None include any higher names in the Google family. The Oxford English Dictionary comments that Google and Googleplex are not in formal mathematical use. Usage of names of large numbers Some names of large numbers, such as million, billion, and trillion, have real reference in human experience, and are encountered in many contexts. At times, the names of large numbers have been forced into common usage as a result of hyperinflation. The highest numerical value bank note ever printed was a note for one sextillion penga printed in Hungary in 1946. In 2009, Zimbabwe printed a 100 trillion Zimbabwean dollar note, which at the time of printing was worth about $30. Names of larger numbers, however, have a tenuous, artificial existence, rarely found outside definitions, lists, in discussions of the ways in which large numbers are named. Even well-established names like sextillion are rarely used, since in the contexts of science, astronomy, and engineering, where such large numbers often occur, they are nearly always written using scientific notation. In this notation, powers of 10 are expressed as 10 with a numeric superscript, e.g., the X-ray emission of the radio galaxy is 704513000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Since then, many others have engaged in the pursuit of conceptualizing and naming numbers that really have no existence outside the imagination. Another possible motivation is competition between students in computer programming courses, where a common exercise is that of writing a program to output numbers in the form of English words. Most names proposed for large numbers belong to systematic schemes which are extensible. Thus, many names for large numbers are simply the result of following a naming system to its logical conclusion, or extending it further. Origins of the standard dictionary numbers the words bimillion and trimillion were first recorded in 1475 in a manuscript of Jehan Adam. Subsequently, Nicolas Chouquet wrote a book Tripartie en la science des nombres which was not published during Chouquet's lifetime. However, most of it was copied by Estienne de la Roche for a portion of his 1520 book, La Rasmetiquette. Chouquet's book contains a passage in which he shows a large number marked off into groups of six digits, with the comment, Au qui vient le premier point pelt signifie million le second point billion le tiers point trillion le quart quadrillion le cinquillion le six. 6 lion le sept, e septillion le height ottillion le neuf non ilion a ains e des alts che plus ultra on voloit procedure. Chouquet is sometimes credited with inventing the names million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, and so forth. This is an oversimplification. Million was certainly not invented by Adam Mortuquet. Million is an old French word thought to derive from Italian million, an intensification of mil, a thousand. That is, a million is a big thousand. From the way in which Adam and Chouquet use the words, it can be inferred that they were recording usage rather than inventing it. One obvious possibility is that words similar to billion and trillion were already in use and well known, but that Chouquet, an expert in exponentiation, extended the naming scheme and invented the names for the higher powers. Chouquet's names are only similar to, not identical to, the modern ones. Adam and Chouquet used the long scale of powers of a million, that is, Adam's bimillion denoted 1012, and Adam's trimillion denoted 1018. An aid memoir. It can be a problem to find the values, either in scientific notation or in sheer digits, for names of large numbers. Every number name larger than a million listed in this article has two values, one in the short scale, where successive names differ by a factor of 1000, and another in the long scale, where successive names differ by a factor of 1 million. An easy way to find the value of the above numbers in the short scale is to take the number indicated by the prefix, add 1 to it and multiply that result by 3. For example, in a trillion, the prefix is tri, meaning 3. Adding 1 to it gives 4. Now multiplying 4 by 3 gives us 12, which is the power to which 10 is to be raised to express a short-scale trillion in scientific notation. 1 trillion equals 1012. In the long scale, this is done simply by multiplying the number from the prefix by 6. For example, in a billion, the prefix is by, meaning 2. Multiplying 2 by 6 gives us 12, which is the power to which 10 is to be raised to express a long-scale billion in scientific notation. 1 billion equals 1012. The intermediate values can be converted in a similar fashion, by adding one half to the number from the prefix and then multiplying by 6. For example, in a septiliad, the prefix is sept, meaning seven. Multiplying seven and a half by six yields forty-five, and one septiliad equals ten forty-five. Doubling the prefix and adding one then multiplying the result by three would give the same result. These mechanisms are illustrated in the table in the article on long and short scales. Note that when writing out large numbers using this system, one should place a comma or space after every three digits, starting from the right and moving left. The Google family. The names Google and Googleplex were invented by Edward Kastner's nephew, Milton Sirota, and introduced in Kastner and Newman's 1940 book, Mathematics and the Imagination, in the following passage. 
The name Google was invented by a child who was asked to think up a name for a very big number, namely one with 100 zeros after it. He was very certain that this number was not infinite, and therefore equally certain that it had to have a name. At the same time that he suggested Google, he gave a name for a still larger number, Googleplex. A Googleplex is much larger than a Google, but is still finite, as the inventor of the name was quick to point out. It was first suggested that a Googleplex should be one, followed by writing zeros until you got tired. This is a description of what would actually happen if one actually tried to write a Googleplex. But different people get tired at different times and it would never do to have Carnair a better mathematician than Drive, Einstein, simply because he had more endurance. The Googleplex is, then, a specific finite number, equal to one with a Google zeros after it. Conway and Guy have suggested that Nplex be used as a name for 10N. This gives rise to the name Googleplexplex for 10 Googleplex. This number is also known as a Googleduplex and Googleplexian. Conway and Guy have proposed that N Minux be used as a name for 10 minus N, giving rise to the name Googomonex for the reciprocal of a Googleplex. None of these names are in wide use, nor are any currently found in dictionaries. The names Google and Googleplex have inspired the name of the internet company Google and its corporate headquarters, the Googleplex, respectively, extensions of the standard dictionary numbers. This table illustrates several systems for naming large numbers, and shows how they can be extended past Vigentillion. Traditional British usage assigned new names for each power of 1 million. 1 million equals 1 million. 1000. 0002 equals 1 billion. 1000. 0003 equals 1 trillion, and so on. It was adapted from French usage, and is similar to the system that was documented or invented by Tuquet. Traditional American usage, Canadian and modern British usage, assigns new names for each power of 1000 thus. A billion is 1000, times 10,002 equals 109. A trillion is 1000, times 10,003 equals 1012, and so forth. Due to its dominance in the financial world, this was adopted for official United Nations documents. Traditional French usage has varied. In 1948, France, which had been using the short scale, reverted to the long scale. The term milliard is unambiguous and always means 109. It is almost never seen in American usage, rarely in British usage, and frequently in European usage. The term is sometimes attributed to French mathematician Jacques Pelletier Dumans circa 1550. But the Oxford English Dictionary states that the term derives from post-classical Latin term miliatum, which became milia and then miliatum finally our modern term. With regard to names ending in Iliad for numbers 106 n plus 3, miliad is certainly in widespread use in languages other than English. But the degree of actual use of the larger terms is questionable. The terms miliade in German, miljard in Dutch. Milia in Turkish and in Russian a standard usage when discussing financial topics. The naming procedure for large numbers is based on taking the number n occurring in 103 n plus 3 or 106 n and concatenating Latin roots for its units tens, and hundreds place, together with the suffix ilian. In this way, numbers up to 103999 plus 3 equals 103000 or 106999 equals 105994 may be named. The choice of roots and the concatenation procedure is that of the standard dictionary numbers if n is 20 or smaller, and, for larger n, is due to John Horton Conway and Richard K. Guy. Carrot when preceding a component mark tes or x, tre, changes to, tres, and, she, to, says, or, sex. Similarly, when preceding a component mark tem or n, septa, and, nove, change to, septum, and, novem, or, septen, and, noven.
since the system of using Latin prefixes will become ambiguous for numbers with exponents of a size which the Romans rarely counted to, like 106,258. Conway and Guy have also proposed a consistent set of conventions which permit, in principle, the extension of this system to provide English names for any integer whatsoever. Names of reciprocals of large numbers do not need to be listed here, because they are regularly formed by adding th, e.g., quatu or decilianth, centilianth, etc. For additional details, see billion and long and short scales. Binary prefixes The international system of quantities defines a series of prefixes denoting integer powers of 1024 between 10,241 and 10,248. Proposals for new naming system In 2001, Russ Rowlett, director of the Center for Mathematics and Science Education at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill proposed that, to avoid confusion, the Latin-based short-scale and long-scale systems should be replaced by an unambiguous Greek-based system for naming large numbers that would be based on powers of 1,000. Other large numbers used in mathematics and physics, Avogadro's number, Graham's number, Skewer's number, Steinhaus-Moser notation, 